Hey, so I'm preparing something sweet and nutritious just for you on this love day. And so we're starting out with our red kale. And what we know about red kale, it's so different than regular kale. It's a lot sweeter than regular kale. So what I like to do with the kale, I don't like to juice the stems. So you just pull off the stems and you pull off the leaves from the stems. So got two of them here. Just pull it off like that and toss the stems. Don't juice the stems, just the leaves. And then we have our organic uh, carrots. These are colored organic carrots and they taste differently from your traditional orange carrots. These are a lot sweeter. So I just want to chop those up so we can get those into the juicer easily. So then we want to cut up our beets. So we cut off the stems here and we just want to juice this part. So depending on what type of juicer you have, if you have a mastigating juicer like the one I have, which has a smaller shoot, um, you want to cut them up in smaller pieces. But if you have like a centrifugal juicer, um, you don't have to cut them up uh, so small. So I'm going to slice those all up into small pieces. So then we add our grapes. And so we just want to take them off the stems. Don't want to juice those. So then we want to slice up our apples. You don't want to um, juice the seeds when you put them in your uh, juicer. Let's get those all sliced up. And I'm also going to add, I have this pineapple, it's about to go bad, so I'm going to add that to the recipe. It's been in the refrigerator a few days, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to this delicious sweet love juice recipe is what we call it, sweet love. That's what love is always supposed to be, is sweet. So cut up our pineapple. All right, so we have everything prepped and ready. We have our pineapple, our red grapes, our red beets, red kale, our apples, and our colored carrots. Now it's time to do some juicing. All right, so now, one of the things that I found, it's best to juice your softer fruits or vegetables first, and then your harder uh, fruits and vegetables afterwards, because what it does, particularly if you have a juicer like this one, a masking juicer, it helps to push everything down. So, pineapples tend to get kind of caught up in your juicer, so you want to put those in first, add some of our kale, that's soft, add some kale, add some grapes, and those are soft, add some apples, and then we're going to add the red beets that are hard that will help push everything through. The juice we can even add some of our carrots. And so, because I'm juicing for myself, I'm kind of freestyling. I'm just adding a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It'll all taste, it'll taste just fine. So, so we're going to take a little taste test to see how the if it tastes like sweet love. Let's see. Mm, that's good. That's some sweet loving for you. That's the way love is supposed to be. It's supposed to be sweet and nutritious. Enjoy your love day. Cheers.